Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video I have created a custom decoupling system for the MAX spacecraft. You can sort of see it here. It's in two parts. There's an upper decoupler and a lower decoupler. They separate from each other and then in theory the upper decoupler can separate off of the tank. We'll have to see. We've got little uh, separatrons on it. Hopefully balanced but maybe not. In theory, the center of mass of uh, the MAX plus its tank is somewhere around here-ish because the heavy oxygen tank is up front. There's all hydrogen back here, which is very light. And uh, so we have uh, two separatrons here, and there's one in the back there on the top decoupler. The bomb decoupler has separatrons, which basically push the AN-225 down, <laughs> which is an interesting way to go. And so we're expecting the center mass to be about here-ish. Otherwise, it'd be imbalanced, but we'll see. Uh, a lot can go wrong, of course, which is the fun of it. And yeah, so atmospheric autopilot on, throttle up, uh, ignition. We've got our brakes on temporarily. And we'll see whether we get off the ground first. That's obviously job one. All right, brakes off. Oh, no, no, don't go on the tail. Don't go on the tail. I've also locked the propellant in the MAX itself so that the RD-704s don't drain the kerosene. Okay, now we're off. Oh, no, keep going up, keep going up. Can't give this thing an inch. You can see I'm pulling up as hard as I can. The decoupling system, of course, adds some mass to the deal. Uh, uh, don't go down, don't go down. Uh, oh no, once it starts going down, it really likes to go down. Oh gosh. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, well, we've got enough altitude that I don't need to worry about losing altitude as we accelerate in turn. It occurs to me we actually don't have anybody on board, which is fine. I allowed it to be automated. The N225 probably would not be, but... Not really the part we're interested in. One thing I'm considering after watching the Spaceship 2 flight is maybe going higher and slower. So, trading off some velocity with the AN-225 in favor of height, which will make the engines a little bit more efficient. So, yeah. I noticed that they went to 45,000 feet, and but we're only at Mach 0.5. I was trying to keep it above Mach 0.8 with the AN-225, but really, it's not providing that much speed. If it can get the max to a greater height, maybe that would be better for the Delta V in the long run. Also diminished the amount of air resistance, of course. Okay, well, we're getting to a good height and still accelerating. Pretty soon it will be time, but there's every possibility that this whole decoupling system will just cause the whole thing to explode, for all I know. So, we will see. It is a matter of suspense for all of us, as usual. And last time Mech Jeb helped, so we'll get that ready too. This is gonna be complicated. Well, we're still not at 45,000 feet. That would be 13,700 meters. But uh, as we do the final climb on release, maybe it'll be okay. Um, first thing I want to do is actually control from here. Okay, so we are going up and trading some speed for height. I'm gonna Alt F5 here. Okay, I'm convinced. A little bit more pitch up. And ignition. And decoupling. It's sort of... Oh, 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 wait, we want to be... Here, oh shoot, it didn't focus right, uh, 107, let's just, 
go like that and see if we can. Not the ideal situation, no. It happens so fast, too, I don't even know how to... ...troubleshoot, necessarily. We seem to be pointing down again. Okay, well, let me decouple... ...on the assumption that that's going to happen, maybe. Because this is obviously not going to work. I don't think I put enough juice in those separatrons. Okay, well, let's try ignition. Okay, decoupling. Uh, that's still the wrong thing. Okay, okay. Uh, that would be good if we could keep doing that. I'll just manually handle it for a while. Oh, I can't. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh no, that's bad. That's worse. Okay, thrall down. Well, we're back where we were before. Yeah, part of the problem is that uh, decoupling happens so quickly that... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, jeez. Uh, that I'll need to look at the video to see what's actually going on. I'm gonna try and turn back towards 90 degrees because Smart ASS is gonna disengage when we decouple and maybe I should just make the max the root part from the start and the SPH. Okay, well, given what I saw in the previous video, let's try ignition. No. It actually... Oh, oh. No! It's so complicated. Well, we got on Smart ESS anyway. But it's, it's p already pitching down here. We're losing quite a lot of energy, but it's actually going to be able to pick itself up. I don't know why I can't manage the roll though. Uh, if I manage the roll, it throws it off a bit. I have no idea how much delta V we actually have. We have to keep in mind that the the fuel here is locked 614, and we do want to switch over to the pure hydro locks before. The engine actually conks out this time. But yeah, I'm gonna have to take a good look at the video to figure out maybe the decoupler, uh, not the decouplers, the separatrons need to be moved a bit. We could probably have thralled up at some point. That would have been more efficient. But right as the kerosene goes down, I'll want to thrall back down again. So that I can see exactly when to switch modes. Oh, I switched modes. Oh, did I not have it? Ah. Well, at least it worked this time. No. Oh, yeah, both of them. Good. Uh, we're not gonna have enough for orbit. Okay, but there was so much bad stuff going on there. Let's load the quick save again. Well, I switched to SAS, I think. Maybe it will be safer, maybe. Alright, well, ignition. And separation. Uh, things explode. Okay, switch. Switch. Oh, it's too late. Well, maybe we've got some control. Alright, keep trying to go up. It's a little bit better than last time, but obviously not what I want. Action groups. Okay, thank you. 
Um, yeah. Switch engine mode. Okay. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, I think we can throttle up. Okay, throttling back down. So I can switch modes properly, hopefully this time. And switch. Please? Okay. Close. But we'll take it. Oh, throttle up. Thrust away ratio of one. Long way to go, though. Okay, well, we can pitch down now. It's close. It's possible that we can make it on our um, OMS fuel. So what I figure I need is two things. One, maybe we can uh, start off controlling from the max spacecraft. And I can set control... Uh, set it as the root part in the SPH. Possibly another thing we could do is have KOS do it. I need to cook up a script and of course that's gonna be a little bit complicated with everything that goes on. Uh, I think I can unlock the fuels in the back now since the engine doesn't use kerosene anymore. Okay, and RCS on separation. Why does it always want to control from other things? <laughs> Uh, okay. Avoidance. And ignition. Well, well we don't want to ignite the RD. Oh, oh, don't go down. Oh, oops. We should have done more avoidance. Um, can you just point prograde, please? Uh, I have a bad feeling about the thrust vector of these engines. Hold on. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe it was because we got knocked by the tank too. Let me see if we stabilize first how it goes. So the document said that the in-orbit mass of this was 27 tons, but it wasn't clear where that was with the 7 ton payload or without. It's small enough that it could be without, but then it also has the big engines, so... Anyway, we're 25.7 tons right now, and in-orbit mass would be with the fuel, the OMS fuel. Seems to be using a lot of pitch authority. Did we have anything in the cargo bay? No. So yeah, the thrust vector on those engines will need to be changed a bit. Eh, come on. Well, pointing this way is not entirely bad. Um, <laughs> we'll have to make do. Oh, wait. It's able to push itself down now. I hate the effect on the wing because of the texture. That's a little bit annoying. And... Well, we are technically in orbit right there with 270 meters per second to spare. Not ideal, uh, probably they would use the OMS engines to complete orbit, but not that much. But progress, we've made progress here. Well, not the spacecraft, <laughs> anyway. But yeah, uh, I might need to reconsider the tile texture on this, considering it's how it looks from when you zoomed out. But anyway, it's a little bit haphazard too, but well, it got to orbit, but we need to do more, and I'll take a look at how to manage that. I'll need to review the video and so, so slow-mo it in order to figure out how to adjust the decoupling system. But, yeah, it's in orbit, so there. <laughs> With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.